Jake Ferguson has been one of the NFL's most dominant tight ends, and the league is beginning to take notice. This is a player that has the ability to be an effective blocker, pass catcher, and a leader on his team, and he's only getting better. So on this play here with the Dallas Cowboys offense, they like to try to do a lot of misdirection plays and catch these guys off guard. So everybody on the offensive line, they're going to be down blocking to the left side, which is always good because they're going to be faking the run because with these linebackers, all it takes is one false step and that's how we can be able to get the advantage. With Tony Pollard, they're going to fake the ball to him. And when it comes down to guys like Jake Ferguson, they love to get these guys in space and let these guys boogie. Guys like Tony Pollard, Brandon Cooks, with this West Coast offense, it is predicated to getting these guys in space and letting these guys cook. So when you see situations like this, it's always good because Jake Ferguson is one of those players who is very, very athletic. He can block and he can be able to run after the catch. So seeing his athleticism and what he did on his play, it's always good because these are the type of reps that make a difference. So we'll run this play. As you can see, everybody on the offensive line is shading to the left. They're faking the ball to Tony Pollard, so it's catching those linebackers off guard. Then you see Jake Ferguson going up against that linebacker. He created separation with his burst. His athleticism is taking over. It's so good to see this, and he jumps right over this guy. You love to see this, Cowboys Nation. Being a tight end that can be able to jump over guys, you can be slippery and get in space. This is exactly what you need. He did get hit on this play, but that just shows his toughness. He is not scared to get hit. He will jump over guys and try to set the tone. We'll run it in real time so you guys can be able to see it. When you see players like that, these are the type of guys that can get everybody going on a whole offense, on a defense, because little things like that matters, Cowboys Nation. It is huge. So this is a play right here that's from last year, and he's going to be doing a crosser. It's pretty much going to be the same thing. Shout out to my man, Ezekiel Elliott, in the backfield. But just seeing this player, he was showing signs of this last year, and the coaches, everybody in the organization, they start picking up on things like that. So it's always great to see it. So we're running. He's running the crosser. Next thing you know, he's open, he gets the ball. Explosive, explosive, explosive. Straight up, this is what you need, Cowboys Nation. And the thing is, when you have a player that can continue to keep doing that and getting a yak yardage, just doing little things like that to be able to set that tone. If you're seeing this guy doing it year one, you know he's doing it year two, you gotta continue to keep on getting this guy involved because with his type of ability, if he can continue to keep doing things like that, all it's going to do is just bring out a better Dak Prescott. The good thing about Mike McCarthy is he loved to be able to get his tight ends out of the Big Ten. If you look at Jake Ferguson, Luke Schoonmaker, Sean McKeon, and Peyton Hendershot, it's real cold outside in the Big Ten. And the thing is, those guys breed toughness. A lot of times you see those players, they ain't playing without no sleeves on. And these are the type of guys that Mike McCarthy like to bring in. So on this play here, you're going to see Jake Ferguson. It's going to be a dump-off play, but before the dump-off play, he's going to be chipping number 53, and he's going to catch him off guard. And when you're looking at guys like Tyron Smith, he's going to be lined up against that edge defender that's lined out wide. It's going to be double team blocks within the left guard Tyler Smith and our center Tyler Biotish and Zach Martin's going to be going up against that defensive tackle in the B gap so it's great to see things like this because if you can be able to catch guys off balance and Dak Prescott quickly give these guys the ball this is how they can be able to get open and go out there and make big plays so we'll go ahead and run it as you can see Jake Ferguson chips him catches him off guard he's off balance and all it takes is half a second if you can be able to stop that guy and then he gets a quick dump off play. It's always great because he's believing that he's going to block and just getting this guy in open space and what he can be able to do with the yak yardage is so good. Being tough because Diggs, I mean, he really hit him. He caught him with a big hit right there, man. It's crazy. He made him mad about that one because number six, he talking trash over there. But the thing is, watch when he get up though. That's the thing. When he gets up, he's going to get up in there. And yeah, you already know it's a first down. Let's go. Let's go. This is the kind of stuff that we like to see, man. And the toughness that I'm talking about when it comes down to players like that, getting in guys' face, being a Spartan, that's the type of energy that you need at that tight end position. With guys like Luke Schoonmaker, both of those guys being on the field at the same time, this is a game of mismatches. And you need things like that if you have these players that can be able to run 12 personnel, if they can run 13 personnel, it's always good for the offense. And things like that is what's going to open up the whole playbook for Mike McCarthy. Because with that West Coast offense, you see a lot of 12 and 13 personnel. And if we can be able to continue to keep doing that, this is how you can be able to take that next step 
against any of these teams in the NFC. So we're going to run some more highlights and some lowlights of this game because it's always good to see guys like Jake Ferguson. I'm so proud of this player. Seeing this guy against Seattle, he was one of the guys that had a better game out of everybody on the team, regardless if it was the offense and the defense. Blocking, catching the ball, pretty much doing everything, seeing him on the sideline, getting guys riled up. This is the kind of things that make me think about Jason Witten being that leader on his team and really making a difference. So let's get to it, Cowboys Nation. This is Sparta! So in 2023 so far, he's had 46 receptions, 498 yards, 10.8 yards per catch, and he's had five touchdowns, which is really solid. The thing is, he didn't really do too much work before the buy, but after the buy, this guy has really been turning up. If you see guys like CeeDee Lamb, what he has done after the buy, guys like Dak Prescott, Brandon Cooks. A lot of these guys, they're doing a lot of work, but the thing is you have to give a lot of credit to guys like Mike McCarthy because getting the chemistry down, being able to adjust, it always works out. So on this final play right here, you see guys like Jake Ferguson. He has the ability to line up in line. He can line up in motion as well as inside the slot. He is very, very versatile. He can catch crosser routes as well as fades. So when you see this play here, he's going to be catching a fade route. But when you look at the defensive line, they're only going to be sending four guys. Tyron Smith's going to be going up against his guy, the left guard against the defensive tackle, and it's going to be double team blocks with Zach Martin and Tyler Biotis, with Terrence still blocking on that right side. And with Tony Pollard, he's going to be running a stick type of route, those quick routes that they use in the West Coast. And with Jake Ferguson, he's going to be running that fade route. And the good thing is about this player, you want to be able to have him going up against safeties, small corners, because being that size, this is a game of mismatches, and this is what they do to try to get the advantage. So we'll run this play. As you can see, He's going out for that fade route. It's only four defensive linemen that's rushing, so Dak Prescott's going to have time. He's comfortable back there. We know what Dak Prescott's been doing. So Tony Pollard, he's going to be running that stick route. Dak Prescott put it in a perfect spot, and the thing is, being able to put it in a good spot, you got to have that chemistry. Look at the pass from Dak Prescott, y'all. It's so good to see, and the good thing about these tight ends, they know how to body guys. They understand spacing, little things like that. This is how you can make big-time touchdowns in very, very important games. We'll run it in real time so you guys can be able to see it. Dak Prescott has really been in his bag. Plays like this is always great, Cowboys Nation. And I have truly been impressed by this player blocking and catching the ball all throughout this season. He was showcasing his talents last year, but Dalton Schultz was getting a lot of burn. But this year, this guy is the lead dog at that tight end position. So guys like Schoolmaker, he's going to have to step up. But seeing Jake Ferguson being able to jump off the screen week in and week out, he's going to have to continue to keep learning. Don't get cocky, but continue being yourself. Learn with Dak Prescott and go out there and make a difference. So it's going to be excited to see how this all plays out. But running this tape and seeing what this guy is doing play in and play out is always going to be good for the whole team. And this is the type of energy that you need when you're playing in playoff football. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and fire breakdowns. All right, Cowboys Nation.
Talk to y'all soon. Gone.